If you want respect, if you want to be successful, if you want people to listen to you, if you want to have a great relationship, if you want to be a leader, you know where that starts? It starts with you. In order to get all those things that you want, you need to act the part. And you can do that by following these 20 rules that every man should live by. I'm Brian Sakawa. you are watching He Spoke Style, and on this channel, I give you the advice and inspiration you need to dress better, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. Before jumping into the 20 rules every man should live by, a few things to note. First, these 20 rules are geared not only towards helping you get those things you want, respect, success, confidence, and influence, but more importantly, they're geared towards helping you be the best person that you can be. Second, these are things you can apply to your life no matter what age you are, young, old, or somewhere in between. And third, some of these things are gonna be pretty simple with no extra explanation required, but where appropriate, we will get into more detail. So, without further ado, let's get to it. The first rule every man should live by is a very important one, and that is to be authentic. When you're true to yourself, not only will you trust the judgments and decisions you make, but others will be more likely to trust you as well. Being authentic means having more integrity and never second guessing if you're doing the right thing. When you're honest with yourself, that gives you more strength and openness to deal with problems quickly and make necessary changes. When you trust yourself to do what's right, that increases your potential and self-esteem. And being authentic is far less stressful than trying to be someone you're not. Next, don't be a troll. Don't say something to someone on the internet that you wouldn't say to their face. It's cowardly, it shows a lack of character, and really, what are you accomplishing with your comment? It's fine to engage in a discussion. It's fine to disagree. But if you're gonna do that online, make sure you're respectful and don't be a jerk. Nobody likes people like that, especially those of us with YouTube channels. Now, since we're talking about online behavior, let's talk about when you're hanging out with friends or family or out on a date. Put the phone down and live in the moment. If you're constantly looking down at your phone, you're not engaged, you're showing disrespect to the people around you, and you're missing the whole point of being out, which is to make a connection with people and enjoy the moment. If you're looking here, everything out there is passing you by. Next, pick up some wet wipes for the bathroom. You'll thank me later. The next rule you should live by is to listen more and talk less. When you talk, you're repeating what you already know. But if you listen, you might learn something new. Like Richard Branson said, nobody ever learned anything by hearing themselves speak. And while you're listening, be sure that you're engaged and really hearing and understanding what the other person is saying, not just waiting to add your two cents. Our next rule is to always have good posture. Sit up in your chair and stand tall. Not only is it better for your health, but it helps you project a more powerful image. When you slouch, you look unsure of yourself. You look weak, you look kind of sad and depressed, and that is not someone that a stranger, man or woman, would want to talk to or listen to. But when you stand with good posture, you look more confident, you look powerful, you look like someone people will listen to. The next rule to live by is to understand that life is a marathon and not a sprint, especially when it comes to maintaining your health and your body. You've got to develop routines and stick to them because if you don't, it might be too late to reverse any negative effects. Unlike a test, you can't cram for this stuff. For example, if you go through life never taking care of your skin, never wearing sunscreen, never moisturizing, never exfoliating, don't be surprised if you start to look older faster than someone who does. That's why I am a huge fan of Tej Hanley, today's video sponsor, because they've got all the products you need and they make it super simple to develop that routine. All you really need to get started is their basic plan. That's a face cleanser, exfoliating scrub, AM moisturizer with SPF to protect your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer for the important repair process that happens while you sleep. Now, if you're an older gentleman, such as myself, I'd recommend going with Tiege's Level 3 system, which adds in a firming serum and an eye cream. I mentioned that Tiege makes it super easy to get into a routine, and here's what I mean. When you get your box and open it up, there's a card, and that card tells you what to do, when to do it, and how much of the product to use. Add to that, when you subscribe, you don't even have to think about going out to get some more when you run out because 
it automatically comes to your door every month. So in addition to great skin, when you join Tiege, there's lots of perks, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, free US shipping, as well as low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description to get Tiege Hanley for 30% off and choose a dop kit, hand towel, or body wash and scrubber combo as a free gift. Click that link to get started today. Next is to be kind and show respect. How you treat people says a lot about you and it also affects how people see you. It doesn't matter whether it's face to face, on the phone or online. If you treat people well, if you're kind and if you show respect, that reflects well on you and it also makes a nice deposit in the karma bank. Along the lines of respect, our next rule is to always dress appropriately for the situation or occasion. This is especially important if the dress code is more dressed up. It shows that you respect the people you're with, and by putting effort into your own appearance, it shows that you care. Like Tom Ford said, dressing well is a form of good manners. Moving on to our next rule, and that is, when it comes to cologne, less is more. Wearing a fragrance is a way to invite people in closer. If you keep it subtle, it's intriguing and mysterious, but if you wear too much cologne, that's gonna repel people. Don't be too much cologne guy. Now this next rule can be a little more difficult for some people to fully embrace and be comfortable with. If you're a naturally confident guy, this one might come a little bit easier to you. But if you're shy, this one's gonna take a little bit of effort. When you go into a social situation, assume people like you. That's gonna throw off some good vibes and people will be more likely to engage with you and to accept you. But if you go into that same situation thinking people don't like you, that's gonna project a different kind of energy, a negative energy, and put up a wall between you and the people you want to connect with. The next rule is to set goals, write them down, and refer back to them often. Set goals for yourself because you need to have something to work towards, and taking the time to think about these goals is an important part of improving ourselves. Write down your goals, to hold yourself accountable and refer back to them often to see your progress or where you've still got work to do. Moving on, be sure to read as much as you can. Knowledge is power and great minds are always feared by lesser minds. If you're invited to someone's home, always bring a gift. Now, the type of gift you bring or the value of that gift is certainly dependent on the type of event. If you're just going over to hang out and watch TV, six pack of beer, is probably okay. For a dinner party, consider bringing a nice bottle of wine. For something like a housewarming party, maybe something a little more special, like a bottle of nice champagne, a really nice whiskey, or maybe even something like a fancy corkscrew. It's always a nice touch when you put that extra thought into something, and it will always be appreciated. The next rule is to cultivate and value a small group of friends. When life hits you with something, you need people you can lean on. So it's more important to have a close-knit group of friends who really know you and care about you and that you can trust rather than tons of acquaintances who you really aren't that close with. Open doors for women. It's not chivalrous, it's thoughtful, and she'll appreciate it. Our next rule is to take chances. Now, I'm not saying to constantly be reckless, but sometimes going a little outside of your comfort zone and taking a risk with something can yield incredible results. You'll always regret the chances you didn't take because even if you fail, no one's ever said they're sorry they tried. Next, you should only worry when it's truly warranted. It's okay to worry about things from time to time, but you can't worry about everything. Pick and choose your battles and rack and stack your priorities to figure out what's most important to you and what's really worth your time. All that other stuff, forget about it. Now, I like to say that there are things you can control and things you can't. And this next rule is definitely one that you can control. Choose to be happy. Seriously, it's up to you. Now, I could say that this is half empty, or I could say that this is half full. It's my choice. And focusing on the positive will lead to greater fulfillment, confidence, and success. Finally, the last rule to live by is to understand that there are no rules, except for laws. You should follow those. But rules are guidelines, especially when it comes to style. 
it's good to know the rules, and I definitely encourage you to know the rules, but ultimately, to develop your own sense of style and your own personality, you take those rules and make them your own. Thanks once again to Tish Hanley for sponsoring this video, and reminder to click the first link in the description to receive 30% off and your choice of a dop kit, hand towel, or body scrub and scrubber combo as a free gift with your first box.